So in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to summarize a very large document effectively using a method called k-means clustering. Let's say I have this PDF here. It has 146 pages, which is a lot, but you could have a much bigger document, like 500 pages, or even 1,000 or more. Now, the obvious way of generating a summary of such document would be to extract the text and simply give it to the LLM model for evaluation with some instructions. The problem with that approach is that when doing this, you are giving the model potentially more than it can handle. Either the context window of that model is not high enough, or it won't be able to grasp all that information and simply ignore the middle of it and miss some facts. It is also going to be slow and potentially very expensive if you rely on third-party closed source models. The k-means clustering method takes a different approach. With this method, we will first create a certain number of clusters and then find a center of each of those clusters and give only the documents that are closest to the center of each cluster. The advantage of that is we will be able to summarize a large document using our LLM model, which won't require reading through all of the content, which is highly effective and fast. I have already initialized my project and installed all the dependencies, like PyPDF loader for extracting text, hugging face embeddings, clustering filter, and chat olama, so I can use a local LLM model for this. First, I'm going to write a simple function that utilizes the PyPDF loader module from Langchain and extracts text using the load method. I will also split the extracted texts into chunks of 2,000 characters using the recursive character text splitter and return the extracted texts. Having a larger list of extracted text will help the embedding model to create proper clusters based on their meaning and therefore give a more accurate result when it comes to returning the center documents for each cluster. Now, I will define the main function for summarizing the data. It will take a several parameters. First, the file, the LLM model, and embedding model. Now I define a clustering filter, pass the embeddings, and adjust the number of clusters to create. The number of clusters is simply for the function to know how many clusters we want to create and create center documents from. There is no perfect value for this, and it varies with the text that you're going to use. I suggest use the default value of 5 first, and then increase or decrease it, and see if the results improve or not. You can also adjust the number of closest documents to return from each cluster. So you can have five clusters, and for each cluster, return two closest documents, for example. I'm going to leave the other options alone and continue with my code. From this function, I will call the extract function I defined earlier, so I obtain the texts from my PDF file. Then, I call transform documents on the embedding filter and pass the texts and store the result in a variable called result. This will filter out the documents based on the k-means clustering method and only return a small fraction of the total number of documents that were initially extracted. You can actually print these documents out and see what exactly they look like if you want. I will proceed to load a summarize chain and use the chain type stuff, which is the most basic type of summarization that I described at the beginning of this video. Then I will call run on the chain, which will produce the summary. I will also do some basic error handling just in case. Now, I will define the LLM and the embedding model, which is going to do the extracting and summarizing for us. For the embedding model, which converts readable text into vector representations, I will use an older BGE 1.5 model. You can take a look at the embedding model leaderboard and select some newer, potentially more accurate model, like the BGE M3 model, but make sure that you have good enough hardware to run it on, as bigger models require more memory to run and way more computational resources. I'm also going to pass additional arguments. I will set the device to CUDA, which means the model will run on my GPU. If you don't have a GPU that supports CUDA, you have to set it to CPU, which will run on your processor and therefore will be many times slower. If you have an Apple device, you can set it to use the MPS backend. I will set normalize embeddings value to true, which will compute cosine similarity. Now, I create the hugging face embedding object and pass all the arguments in it as parameters. Now, 
Because I will use a local Llama 3.1 model using Olama, I first have to start it by running Olama serve. If you are also going to use this method, make sure to download the model first using Olama pull command. With Olama running, we simply pass our model and set the temperature to zero so that the responses are deterministic and not creative. If you wish to use another model instead of Llama or don't want to use a Llama, simply import a different module from Langchain and use that one, it's your choice. Now I will call my main function with the parameters and pass my PDF file I want to summarize and print out the response. Okay, it seems we have our summary. Remember to experiment with the clustering arguments and potentially adjust them to your liking to get a better response. Also, instead of creating a summarized chain, you can use a custom instruction so you extract only the data that you are looking for. Hopefully you have learned something today. Please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.